I thought she was just a great comedic actor and, you know, doing blue material, whatever you want to call it. Corinne, uh, who does all the styling here, said, no, you're wrong. This is the real deal. Then my 13-year-old, Cha-Cha, said, no, this is who she is. And then Dusty said it. And everybody knew her but me. Uh, and now I'm totally devoted to what she's doing because it's so brave. And I'm not going to censor her. Yeah, she's going to say some things that you would not want to say yourself, let alone have said to you, which is probably going to be my position. But as I told Balin just moments ago, she's not going to say anything to me that my whole team hasn't wanted to say since the day that they met me. But I love the bravery, and I love that we can get through the stigma and just treat somebody with decency because we all deserve it. And Balin Dupree joins us now. All right, kid, thank you very much for coming on. And what do you hope you can do by taking the risks that you take so people can understand what you're dealing with? <gasps> I'm sorry, do you mind repeating the question? <laughs> Fuck off. Why do you, what do you want people to learn? Um, I want people to learn that um, Tourette's is, neuro, is a neurological involuntary motor and vocal disorder. <laughs> Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. Um, I don't tick 24-7, and there's a lot of <clears throat> little baby wings. Fuck off. Fuck you, Chris. There's a lot of things that people don't understand. Like, <clears throat> people think that cussing is, in, is with everyone who has Tourette's syndrome, but it's only in 10% of people with Tourette's. <laughs> and... How has it been as you've gotten more famous? Do you believe that people are understanding better or are they dopes like me who think you're acting? I say it's, I say it's the same. I think there's a lot more people that don't understand what Tourette's is and um, they like to educate themselves more. So I get thousands of DMs from parents, from teachers, from girls that have been diagnosed with Tourette's and they've had to be kicked out of school for attention seeking because they rip up, they rip up their homework or do things like that. I've had parents reach out to me asking me, oh, my son's coming home with a girlfriend and his girlfriend has Tourette's syndrome. <laughs> so, and then I also get very evil people that will comment and say like, Go well, fuck yourself, Chris. Lick to bite me and blow up your ass. Put your own biscuit, fat ass. That have told me that my parents deserved to die in a car accident because I'm faking my condition. Or people have told me that, like, I've had to have the police at my house because people gave out my location and said they're going to come torch my house. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> Here's the thing. Clinically, people suck. And they're yeah. mean and they're stupid and they try to make themselves feel better by going after others. Okay. And you are the antidote, my young friend, because you have you. my kids, <laughs> you have my kids repeating your lines so that it's almost become cool. And not because, you know, it's raunchy. It's because you're being real and you're living your truth. And they love it. They love the bravery of it. And so do I. And I love how you've changed your mission. You were at university. COVID was tough for you, tougher than for most, right? Really blew up your symptoms. And now you want to be a physical therapist because exercise helps you and you believe it's a way that you can help others. A personal trainer, right? Yes. So I go to the gym five days a week and I go to a workout class, um, splitting it throughout the week. Um, I love exercise. My boyfriend got me into it. Um, I've been doing it for about a year now. Um, I love it. It's my it's my release. Um, I obviously go to the gym and I wear headphones, and that's also a very big factor in how <laughs> fuck off, fuck Colin, fuck that bitch. Um, that's also a really big like part in my journey was starting out with him. <laughs> well. <laughs> I love seeing him in the videos. You guys have a great bond. I love everything about your family, and I love the story you're telling to people and living your truth. You're and done. My kids. You're done. My, you know what? I am done. I got to go to phone calls because they're blowing up with support for you. Blow so I hope you can watch it at home and listen to everybody who wants to say great things to you. Balin Dupree, thank you for what you're doing. Thank you for coming on the show, and I look forward to speaking to you again. And by the way, I've had people me. say a lot worse.
<laughs> Thanks for having me. It was great meeting you. It's great meeting you. Merry Christmas, and I'll talk to you soon. Thank you, kid. Merry Appreciate Christmas. what you're doing. Bye. Thank you. Now, three minutes, 15 seconds.